My fellow Sibylinians, my name is Peter Thomas. This morning I wake up with two words in my mind. Pretense and advice. When you read through social media, you go through WhatsApp, you watch the videos, you go through YouTube and everywhere else, you see say predominantly, often 80% of the time, Sierra Leoneans then are the diaspora, they offer advice to the government on how to do things better, for improve the lives of Sierra Leoneans than are Sierra Leone. You see, say Sierra Leoneans that the diaspora they offer advice to we follow Sierra Leoneans who team for do how for influence change and so on, which is good. However, the level at which this advice is provided is is comical, laughable. You get Sierra Leoneans them now, yeah, make we look at the background of Sierra Leoneans then overseas because I live overseas myself. You get Sierra Leoneans then overseas. Where they not do nothing for themselves. Some of them have been here for over 20 years. Some have been here up, up to 40 years. They've done nothing for themselves. Here, they haven't done anything for better themselves. They haven't gone to study anything. They haven't, you know, got better jobs. So then they, then they live day to day. Day to day, and then they live by. So then they live on welfare. Now then they live by. You know, they haven't done anything for any family member over there. They haven't done anything for anybody else. Na salon, very self-centered and selfish. Obviously, this not to a generalized comment for everybody else, but a majority of people them, when they overseas, if you look at them, Sierra Leoneans, they've done very little for themselves. You know, then they struggle now. But because of the vast economic difference between here and Sierra Leone, when they left here, even if they take a thousand dollars to Sierra Leone, they are at great economic advantage. And meeting the people that went in a salon where they pour so much difficulties and challenges, suffering within the face. When you don't take a thousand dollars with you, you're like a king. Well, until the money finishes, you're like a king. So people they listen to you. So as a result, you get people from overseas when they go and uh, then they present themselves as if they are like angels from heaven. They know every solution to every problem Sierra Leone has. They are the best guys for the job. This then I'm an issue. I personally have an issue with this, and I make one really want to make this clear. How on earth? You go there now, your own community now overseas. You know they go now, your community meeting, your own community meeting, salon meeting, we know they go there. You know the mass pa, independence function. You know they go pa, where you come in and then get success, you know they go there. You don't associate with your community, but you won't go be minister in a salon. You won't go be a member of parliament in a salon. You won't go be um, a, a local government council on a salon. You won't go be a mayor on a salon. How on earth, if you know you're able to work with young people in overseas, when I just a fraction, some of these states, they only get a community of 200 people or 300 people. You know you're able to work within there for work with people and for unite them, for inspire, change a young community, for help those that are vulnerable back home. How the hell are you going to help Sierra Leoneans in Sierra Leone? Seven million people. That's very funny to me. And it's very hypocritical. So where salon people and candy then go put their hand up, they say one they want to become this and that. Ask them what have you done where you're coming from? What have you done for yourself? These are the questions we for ask. But this is the most unfortunate part, the most painful, unfortunate part is that then people in the wedding community are wouldn't go to Sierra Leone. The Sierra Leoneans in Sierra Leone are then constituencies then they they embrace them people and they they give them that opportunity they, for make them go lead them, make them represent them, even without knowing them properly. The evidence is clear cut. Look at President Komarin government. Over 70% of the ministers and our people don't live overseas. You know? But they haven't done very well for us. They haven't. Because they were chosen, one of the things they were associated is because they've been exposed overseas. But that exposure, they did not translate into anything because they haven't done much. 
you see so the common man wait on in the community for over 50 years the common man wait on in the community in a salon we don't know in people and you understand they need you don't suffer with them you know you don't work a solution with them they go contest the road but you know go get them you know we'll get symbol because somebody don't come on america or australia they go put himself up say in the messiah for save then constituents so they give him the position they give him the, the symbol and he gets it but he doesn't know the community so he doesn't attend to their needs if you don't know the community you cannot respond to their needs so now a failed leadership the foundation of on which they put people in a position i fail we don't fail already from that onset so my encouragement to you as a civil union today is that make we look make we think carefully we get election to come up in 2018 march make we think carefully about people when they come overseas not to everybody will jump come overseas with a good position let's ask questions let's dive deeper into the people and history and background and experiences we didn't get for offer you know we just almost everybody in our social media the people went overseas one be ministers one be honorables one be presidents and so on i mean politics not to not to a career you need to get a, a, a aim strong aims and objective for self people you need to get a background in human services and politics you need to go study something you need to do something for yourself for get an understanding for know what you for do for your people it doesn't just come overnight just because you're from overseas so let we get the facts right and make we get the right people in a position not to everybody need for being inside like politics me you can work on the ground if you really want to do something for your people you don't need for getting to government or politics for make you do something for people you can do something as a law abiding citizen in your country you make a change in your own community in your own village you can make a difference if we all be politics now would I, would I, would I go govern now would I, we go govern so let's get the facts right but we the people who are in a salon make we get them right say not 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 every Sierra Leonean will come overseas is equipped for the job not every Sierra Leonean will come overseas and get the best intent for for the country not every Sierra Leonean will come overseas he will offer solution make we ask questions make we dive deeper they will be very careful and thorough with the selection process before we align we hand over with constituents with community into the hands of reckless people thank you